We're now in chapter 10 about converting units of measure. This is 10.1, customary length. The customary measurement system is used in the United States of America and two other nations, Liberia and Myanmar. All the other countries of the world use the metric system. We can compare and convert customary units of length to each other by using division to convert the smaller unit to the larger unit or multiplication to convert the larger unit to the smaller unit. Then we can use the symbols less than, greater than, or equal to to compare them. For customary units of length, one inch is about the length of one small paper clip. One foot is about the length of a football and one yard is about the length of a baseball bat, and one mile can be walked in about 20 minutes. So one inch is less than one foot, one foot is less than one yard, and one yard is less than one mile. 12 inches is equal to one foot, three feet is equal to one yard, 5,280 feet is equal to one mile, and 1,760 yards is equal to one mile. Sophia is making curtains and needs six feet of fabric for each side of the window and three more feet to make pillows for her sofa. And the store sells fabric by the yard. So she needs six feet plus six feet plus three feet. That's 15 feet of fabric. She can convert the 15 feet into yards. So how many groups of three feet are in 15 feet? One yard is three feet. We can use a bar model. We have three feet, that's one yard. And over here we have three feet. The whole thing would be 15 feet. And using the bar model, we'll see that we need five yards. We can use our bar model to help us write an equation. We have a total of 15 feet. We need to divide it by three feet in one yard. That's gonna equal a total of five yards. We use division because we need fewer large units. We're decreasing to a smaller number of units. Sophia needs five yards of fabric. We can use a table of customary units of length to find the relationship between measures. So here we have a table it's showing us one foot, and the abbreviation for foot is FT, is equal to 12 inches, whose abbreviation is IN. One yard, abbreviated as YD, is equal to three feet. One mile, abbreviated as MI, is equal to 5,280 feet. And one mile is equal to 1,760 yards. When we convert smaller units to larger units, we need to decrease the units, so we divide. We're going from little tiny inches to larger feet. 24 inches divided by 12 inches in one foot is equal to two feet. When we convert larger units to smaller units, we need to increase the units, so we multiply. Two feet, feet are larger than inches, so we have two feet times 12 inches in one foot, that's equal to 24 inches. The distance between Mr. Lee's store and his house is three miles. How does the distance compare to 15,000 feet? So we think when we convert larger units like miles to smaller units like feet, we need to multiply. We need to convert three miles to feet and one mile is equal to 5,280 feet we have three of them, so we do three times 5,280. We do our multiplication and see it's equal to 15,840 feet total. And 15,840 feet is greater than 15,000 feet, so the distance between Mr. Lee's store and his house is greater than 15,000 feet. Mixed measures use more than one unit of measurement. One foot six inches is a mixed measure. We're using feet and inches. We can convert a single unit of measurement to mixed measures. So 
it says Bob is 70 inches tall. That's one single unit of measurement. It's just inches. So what it is, is his height in feet and inches? So we think we need to convert smaller units, little inches, to larger units, to feet with inches. So we need to divide. There's 12 inches in one foot. His height is 70 inches. So we're going to divide 70 by the 12 inches in one foot. 70 divided by 12. We can use long division. 12 fits into 70 five times because 12 times 5 is 60. And that leaves 10 left over. And 12 can't fit into 10, so we have a remainder of 10. The 5 quotient is the feet, and the remainder 10 is the inches that are left over that do not quite equal one foot. That means Bob is 5 feet 10 inches. We can convert a mixed measure to a single unit of measurement. We have 3 feet 4 inches. We have our total feet 3 times 12 inches in one foot. That would be 36 inches. Now we add the 4 inches and we get 40 inches. So 3 feet 4 inches is equal to 40 inches. We need to compare these and write less than, greater than, or equal to in the circle. We have our table to help us. We have 12 feet and 4 yards. And we look, 1 yard is 3 feet. So if we have 12 feet, that means we do have 4 yards. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 feet is equal to 4 yards. We have 2 miles and we have 12,000 feet. We look, 1 mile is 5,280 feet. 2 miles would be 2 5,000s, wouldn't it? It would be 10,000. But do you think 280 two times would be enough to make it 12,000 from 10,000? 2 times 5,000 is 10,000. We don't have enough to go more than 12,000. So 2 miles would be less than 12,000 feet. We can do multiplication. 5,280 times 2 is only 10,562. So 2 miles is less than 12,000 feet. What about 84 inches and 7 feet? We see there's 12 inches in one foot. We could do 7 times 12 and see how many inches that would be. If you already know your multiplication facts for 12, then you already knew the answer. 7 feet is equal to 84 inches because 12 times 7 is equal to 84. What about 1 yard and 1 foot compared to 40 inches? We see 1 yard is 3 feet and we have another foot. That means we have 4 feet. This side is equal to 4 feet. Now we're comparing 4 feet to 40 inches. And we see there's 12 inches in one foot. 4 times 12 is 48. 4 feet is equal to 48 inches. And 48 inches is greater than 40 inches. So when you're doing these comparisons, you might need to do some math and figure out, convert them, what they are compared to the other one. Mr. Park is building steps for a wood deck. He has two boards that are each eight feet long. How many pieces can Mr. Park cut that are one yard long? We can draw quick pictures. We have an eight foot long board and another eight foot long board. He's got two of them. It says two boards that are each eight feet long. He needs to cut pieces that are one yard long. We can do eight divided by three. That would be two. But then we would have a remainder of two. That means we'd have two yards with a remainder of two feet left over. And that's not a full yard long, so he can't use that. And then on this board, he would have two yards. So he'll be able to cut two one-yard lengths with two feet left over from each board. That means Mr. Park can cut four pieces 
that are one yard each. So to solve this, do you notice I didn't put them together and do 8 plus 8 is 16? Because that wouldn't work. He's got a little two-foot piece here and a little two-foot piece here. One yard is three feet. He can't fit them together to make a one-yard piece. So he can only get two yards, two one-yard pieces from each piece of wood. So when we're going from smaller to larger units, we divide. If we're going from little inches to larger feet, we divide. If we're going from little inches to larger yards, we divide. Feet are smaller than yards. We're going from smaller to larger. And feet are smaller than miles, so we're going from smaller to larger. And yards are smaller than miles. We're decreasing the number of units and going from smaller to a larger unit, so we're going to divide. And we multiply for going from larger units to smaller units. Feet are larger than inches, so we're going to multiply feet to get to inches. We're going to multiply yards to get to inches, or yards to get to feet, or miles to get to feet, or miles to get to yards, because these are larger units than these units. We're going to increase the number of units. If we've got feet, then we're going to have a lot more inches, because one foot is 12 inches. So we're increasing the number of units. And I have conversion charts for metric and customary units on my Facebook page in the photo image section that you can check out to print or copy. Our next lesson, 10.2, we're going to do customary capacity. We're going to talk about fluid ounces and cups and pints, quarts and gallons. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you'll join me for next time. Bye!